Good morning and welcome to day seven of our 21 days of prayer. Today we've got something special for you. Megan Hill has done an interview with Terry over at River City Community Center to talk about the Convoy of Hope that's coming up. So we're playing this interview for you because we want you to be praying about the Convoy of Hope. We want you to be praying about your possible involvement in the Convoy of Hope. And uh, we want you to be aware of how that's all gonna play out. So let me share with you this interview. This is Megan Hill here with Terry Gilbert. Um, what is your position here at River City Community Center? Yep. The... I am the director of River City Community Center, which is affiliated with River City Church. All right, so um, Terry's gonna tell us some about the Convoy of Hope event coming up at the end of this month. Terry, tell us what, uh, what the event is typically like in a regular year, and then what it looks like now uh, during COVID and what we've done to change up the necessary operations. Yeah, sure, so Convoy of Hope as an organization is a humanitarian organization. So they go all throughout the country and all throughout the world to be able to meet people's needs wherever those needs may be. So uh, they've done hurricane relief, they've done earthquake relief, they've gone to impoverished countries in, developing, in the developing world uh, to be able to reach people's needs, usually kind of at a foundational physical level. Um, and so uh, as part of that organization, they do what's termed community events. And so in these community events, um, a variety of different things have happened. So in Lafayette, uh, some of you folks may remember in 2016 and 2018, we did, uh, we held a community event at the Tipkin New County Fairgrounds. And that was a really fun day. Thousands of people were met and we were able to distribute everything free. So the idea is to present guests of honors with a poverty free day. So in those, in that scenario, we had um, a, a, a kid zone, we had groceries, there were, um, uh, there was a, uh, uh, a health department, health screen, screening and services. Uh, there is an area for people to get job and career and professional help. Uh, there's an area for, for ladies to educate themselves about uh, breast awareness and breast health awareness. Um, we had a number of different services, haircuts, portraits, things that people in uh, under a certain level of poverty may not be able to experience, definitely wouldn't be able to experience all in one day. So that's the idea behind this community event, that we can bring people uh, a sense of hope, convoy of hope, a sense of hope and joy in knowing that someone in the community has their back and then for us we understand that we want them to be able to interpret that hope and joy coming from Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So in this year, in 2020, we're really going to operate from doing those exact same things uh, here that we did in 2016 and 2018. But it's going to look a bit different because we want to be uh, safe and responsible and, and honestly just have the optics that we're being we're aware of our current environment um, but also we have to be aware that the environment doesn't change the scenario of a lot of people around this community there's still need there's still uh, uh, there's still uh, things that can be met and there's still hope that we can help people to find in Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and so here in 2020 we're going to do uh, transition to a drive-by distribution. Still everything free, still no ID or anything required, but instead of uh, having the interactions where people are walking around the, the fairgrounds to be able to interact with us on a kind of maybe a more personal, maybe more intimate interpersonal relation or interpersonal scenario, we're going to, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, have uh, people pull up in their vehicles um, pop their trunk and in a socially distance, distancing way still be able to provide those, those same uh, uh, tangible items. So the groceries, I think we're giving away socks, nutrition smoothies, um, but we're also they're not uh, losing some of those other elements. So we're still going to have an opportunity for people to connect with employers. We're still going to have an opportunity for people to get things from uh, our health, our local health departments and, and IU Health in particular are really going to uh, step up and provide uh, each guest with health kits. So we're still going to provide some things that we normally would have provided in our different uh, mm -hmm. scenario, but just in a different way. Right. Okay, so let's finish up. Tell me some, um, some things that we can be praying for, for the event, specific items, um, needs, and things of that nature over the next three weeks? Certainly. This is brand new. <laughs> we, yeah. we feel like we have a good plan. We feel like we've prepared well, um, but just like any 
start off uh, anything that's starting off initially uh, there could be some bumps and bruises that we may not expect mm -hmm. and so I would just pray uh, that everyone or asking everyone to pray that everyone will have grace and and and, and peace uh, and knowing and going to it the spirit of, of service mm -hmm. uh, that that's probably most important uh, and then also that the guests of honor will truly be honored we want people that come in, regardless of their background, their scenario, the things that they've dealt with in the past, things that are going on currently, to not let those things hinder them from understanding uh, you know, the opportunity before them and developing relationships for the future. So people may come from a variety of different paths, but we want them to leave uh, with, uh, again, a sense of hope, not to overuse the word, but just a sense of hope from, uh, from those interactions. Uh, we'll still be able to pray with people on site, so I would ask people to pray uh, that we will uh, be able to uh, sincerely communicate uh, the gospel to people that don't know Jesus Christ. It is my um, unwavering goal and hope and personal prayer that uh, people will be led uh, to uh, to Jesus Christ yeah. during these moments, and that is our ultimate goal. Yes, giving away groceries is great. Yes, uh, giving people an opportunity to get a, a, a new job uh, is great. But if we are not presenting that opportunity to, to to take Christ into their own heart, uh, we're just we're just kind of doing a, a nice community yeah. service, not the ultimate service that we know is all needed. So those are things I would pray for, and. Um, Pray for volunteers. We need we need people to help us, Amen. Uh, and we we need for a lot of volunteers and to do so in a safe, responsible way uh, that that honors all of our our local health ordinances. Excellent. Okay, thank you for sharing that. Uh, is there anything else you would like to talk about as far as convoy or yeah. needs? Any of that? Yeah, um, just volunteers. Uh, if you feel led to, to, to give in a way, I would direct uh, you to, um, to the folks here at Lafayette Community Church or um, at Convoy of Hope there. This is part of what's called a 10 million and more now. It was 10 million at first, but 10 million and more meals campaign if you want to donate that way. Um, th this, is, this couldn't be done without their generosity and mm -hmm. support. And so, um, but come, it's going to be a fun day. Uh, so if you're able to, 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 to come and uh, you feel healthy yourself, uh, I would encourage everybody to come because you will not regret it. Excellent. Thank you so much, Terry, for your time. And I'm really looking forward to August 29th and serving with you guys and, and everyone else that joins us that day. Thanks for your time Absolutely. today. Can't wait, Megan. Thank you. Would you join me in prayer for the Convoy of Hope? Heavenly Father, we just thank you that you've given us the opportunity to partner with churches in this community that really care about serving people. And I pray that you would help us to do our part to really be a blessing to the people around us, to the people in this community who are hungry to know you, and in the process, they're just hungry. They need someone to show them some love so that they can be more aware of your love for them. So, God, I pray that you would help us to be the open door, that you would help us, along with River City and the other churches who are participating, to be an open door for people to learn more about you, to fall in love with you, and to trust you with their lives. Lord, I thank you for River City and for their leadership in this work. I pray that you'd help us to play our part well and that you would just be blessing the event so that as many people as possible could come to know the love of God through the love of the local church. Lord, we thank you for giving us this opportunity. We pray for your blessing on it. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I just want to thank you for participating with us today. Let me encourage you to spend some time outside today. Go on a prayer walk. Open up your church app. Turn on the prayer walk feature and walk around your neighborhood praying for your neighbors. I know your heart is going to be blessed by what God shows you just in your own neighborhood. And God, through your prayers, is going to bring blessing to the people around you. So God bless you this day. Go in his name.